<laughs> What's the worst lie you've ever been caught in? Hey guys, it's Mahalia and I am excited to find out what you had to ask about me. <laughs> I was taking pictures on my boyfriend's phone and somebody messaged him and it happened to be a girl and I clicked on the message and then immediately turned the phone off and then within five minutes I was telling him, I was like, I'm so sorry, I've just seen this message and I didn't mean to see it. Like, I can't, There, there is just, I don't have that bone to be able to, I could never cheat. Fucking hell, I could never cheat. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> he would know immediately. I, I'm not good at deception, which I think is quite good. But God, yeah, let's hope I don't ever break the law. This one says, will you ever tour in the United States? I already have, twice. Of course, um, I just haven't been allowed for like two years. So um, saying will you ever is incorrect because I have, but I'll be back. I love the United States. Where did Mahalia grow up? Um, I grew up in a city called Leicester. Uh, Leicester is in the Midlands, so it's East East Midlands. So it's like in the middle of the UK, basically. We won the Premier League about four years ago in football. <laughs> and me. <laughs> what is inspiring you right now? I like that question. It's quite hard because like I, I've come to realise that I get inspired by a lot of different things. Like sometimes it's people, sometimes it's relationships, sometimes it's even just like like things that I see uh, in the sky or like on like in the street. So I obviously I'm I live in London. So I think right now I'm just trying to be inspired by LA. I've not been out of London for two years and I've kind of been looking at this like out of the same window at the same street and the same row of shops for that much time. So right now I'm just inspired by literally everything around me. My favorite song to perform, do you know what? It changes on different days. If I'm in a really great kind of energetic mood, then I would say, I wish I missed my ex is probably one of my, no, it is my favorite. It's like the one where I know that you guys are all gonna sing with me and I get to just kind of party and dance the whole time. Uh, but when I'm in a kind of winter, kind of lovey-dovey, quiet, sad, or maybe even sad mood, um, Grateful is my favourite. I love that song. And it's just, yeah, I just I just love love songs. So I think that one is also a favourite of mine. How can we stop the busking ban? This is a good question. So for those of you who don't know, so like I said, I'm fr from the UK and there is currently a busking ban that is, I think, it's either going through or it's being talked about in Birmingham in the UK. The only way that we can really stop something like a busking ban um, is to get in contact with the people who are trying to ban it and also share it as much as possible. I think I have to talk about busking because when I first started writing songs, busking was like the one way that I could rehearse my music, get confident performing and also like and some money, right? So busking for me as an artist was such an integral part of, of like the beginning of my career. And I think banning kids or just people from busking in city centres and being able to play their music wherever they want is really sad. So I think the, the only way that we can stop something like that being banned is by sharing it with enough people and getting everybody to scream as loud as they possibly can. Um, I'm screaming super loud. Just need everyone else to scream with me. What's your favorite collab? Oh, uh, I think it will, I think, I mean, I really love my song, um, What You Did with Ella May. <laughs> when I first wrote that song, I loved it anyway, but then when Ella came on it, it, it just like, it just totally brought it to life for me. And it's, I love all the songs that I write, but sometimes you get those feelings about some and that one just felt really magic. Um, when I first put it out, so I think that's my that's my favourite collab. Will a new album or at least a new single be dropping in 2022? Um, absolutely. Um, I've I've been writing a bunch of music that I'm hoping to release this year. 
So something might already be out by the time you're seeing this, something might be coming by the time you're seeing this. Whichever one, go and check. Um, but yes, loads of new music. And loads of just new stuff. How do you build your confidence to go on stage? Um, I think that the stage is where I've always felt most confident, to be honest. I think when I'm on stage, I don't feel like anybody is looking at me and judging me. Even if I like go through my daily life and I don't feel that confident necessarily. I actually do most of the time, but sometimes we all have moments, right? And if I don't feel that confident, then I stage is the one place where I always do, because that's the one place where I know what I'm doing and I know how to do it. It's not just about building your confidence so you can go to the club or so you can go into work feeling great or, you know, it's about building your confidence so that you feel great even on your own when you're cooking dinner dancing to hours and hours, you know? So, yeah, I think the how I can't answer. Um, the how I think is something that we all have to find, which is super cliche, but also my, my most honest way of answering you with that question. What is the best song you've ever written? Ah, oh, I, um, I love a lot of my songs, but I think it would be grateful. Um, Grateful is is this song that I like when I wrote it I was like I really thought I was in love I was I was like 19 and in my first real like proper relationship and uh it turns out I totally wasn't and um I got a, a tattoo saying grateful for nothing but I love the song and like even though the guy I'm I, I, I like don't care about anymore I like loved that song because I remember sitting in a bedroom in an Airbnb in LA and just like having this beat and just writing that song. And it's just one of my proudest moments because I don't, I don't get to do that much stuff on my own as an artist. Like I spend so much time with people, so much time with producers and other songwriters and, and I make a lot of music and I have a lot of fun, but I don't get that private time to just write a song that often. So I think that's just become one of my favorites because of that reason. Who are your favourite artists right now? Ah, oh, um, I really, really, really loved the new Baby Keem album. I thought it was brilliant. I started going to the gym and I was trying like cardio and, you know, treadmill and running on the spot and all that fun stuff that people like. Um, and Baby Keem really got me through it. Like, I just, that, there, that there was just something about the album and particularly do rag activity, which I just thought was a, yeah, just to just, just do rag activity. And what else have I been loving? There's a girl from the UK called Flower of Love, who I think is brilliant. Uh, and she's just like the cutest, sweetest soul. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's a, I'm pretty sure she's in like her late teens, but she's got this song, Malibu. Sipping tea in Malibu. Oh, this says, do you believe in soulmates? Yeah. I think it's really hard to believe in something like that if you've never seen it, right? You know, there's a lot of people I find in my gen who like really don't believe in that stuff and really don't believe in monogamy and marrying one person and blah, blah, blah. But I think like, I had such a fantastic example, right? So I like got my parents and I would like watch them and they, and, and, and they would argue like cat and dog and kind of maybe even hate each other at times, but they're so each other's one. I think I found my soulmate last year. Um, but of course, it's always, you're always slightly scared that you might be wrong and that might not be the case. So I think I'm just, I'm just hoping that he is because it, it really feels like he is. Uh, but yeah, I think I believe in it. I just, I just don't know how to know. And I don't think you do know unless you go through time together basically, so I don't really know. How tall is Mahalia in feet? Ooh. I'm five foot seven. Uh, I'm, I'm actually quite tall. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely above average, um, but I'm not tall tall. So how tall are you? How do you overcome your anxiety? Oh, for me, it's always been about like silence and like time, time, like with myself when no one else is around and no one else can like kind of tell me how to be or what to do. I think a lot of it for me, I had to work through with like breathing and like closing my eyes and taking that time alone. It might be different for you, um, but for me it's silence. Like silence really, really helps me. What does Mahalia do? 
Uh, I mean, if you want me to sell myself, I uh, I do many things. Uh, I I'm, I'm I'm a great cook. Uh, I'm I, I'm I'm really good at cleaning my house. Um, sometimes I go to the gym. Sometimes I go for walks in the park. I love to read books. Uh, I am a serial uh, TV watcher. Uh, is is Mahalia a biblical name? I no. Um, well, I don't think so. So my name Mahalia is Hebrew, and it means tenderness or the tender one. What is your favourite place to perform? The Greek theatre, actually. That's like I saw Khalid there a couple of years ago and I and I just thought wow like this whole space feels really lovely and like the fact that it's like outside and I would just love that I think that would I would love to do a show there um but my favorite place to perform currently I think I always have so much fun when I go home to Leicester and you know it's not like the it's not the biggest venue necessarily but it's like it's the best crowd every time and everyone's always so happy to be there and I'm also so happy to be there so yeah Mahalia's best advice I don't know my best advice what like my best piece of advice I only have a few things I think that I would ever say and I think I would just say drink water uh, and I always say I always say to my girls you don't have to wear a bra but that's it when is Mahalia's birthday my birthday is May the 1st um, and I was born in 1998, so I'm 23. Because I was born in May, that's why my nickname is also May. Okay, this one says, so far, what's been your proudest moment as an artist? I think it was releasing my um, debut album. I think like, that was about a build up. That was a build up of about eight years. And I wanted to make that album so much and I just wanted to have people hear it. Um, and when that came out, that felt like the biggest achievement, I think. There's been some amazing things, but I think that was really personal. And like, yeah, I was, I was really proud of myself after that process. What is something you wish you knew before starting your career? It's a really, really, really tough industry. And I just wish somebody would have told me that, as well as telling me that I could achieve anything and dream big. And I do think dream big. Just dream and know what your dreams are going to entail of, because then you can go in fully informed, you can know where you want to go, you can put all the right things in place. What I do is a privilege, and the fact that I was one of the people who got to come through and like play my music and have it do well will always be a privilege. And there are probably a hundred girls just like me who are just as good as me, if not better, who may not see those same chances. So I think Dream big, but yeah, just know what you're getting into. And always recognise your, always recognise your privilege, whatever it is. Guys, thank you so much for all your questions and for listening to me rant on and be silly and whatever. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see you all soon and signing off, Mahalia. <laughs>